three happy lives. The first is the pleasant life, or PA. As much positive emotion as possible and the skills to amplify these, pos these positive emotions. That is what it means to have the pleasant life. Um, the next is the good life, or engagement. It, and it's uh, pleasure versus flow. And uh, the whole concept of that is it's uh, when one becomes, becomes absorbed in their passion, um, pleasure and feelings kind of become irrelevant and it's more about the focus of that study. And that's another form of happiness. And finally, the meaningful life. Uh, knowing your strengths and using them to serve a greater purpose. Um, <clears throat> now, he uh, basically has a theory, uh, a theoretical formula uh, for life success. And it goes like this. Life success, LS, equals PA, pleasant life, plus engagement, good life, plus meaning, meaningful life. Um, and what the margin is, well, what it is is how, how it uh, justifies is PA is kind of the margin, you know, um, the least or the lowest. Good life is in the middle, and meaning is the most significant happiness that one, uh, that one uh, achieves in life. You need all three to, to feel the full life, as opposed to the empty life is when you have none. Uh, in conclusion, his 11th reason for optimism is uh, with the technology advancing the way that it is in today's day, it can be used to either hurt or help people. And his focus is on increasing the PA, the pleasant life, good life and meaningful life um, to, to make a, a more pleasurable future using technology as opposed to using it against and making a negative psychology for the rest of us. That would make a good enough psychology.